Hello everyone, Sir Gantlot here again. Today I'll be talking about one of those features of Microsoft Project that puts you in control of your schedule but at the same time can be a little bit baffling. And that is setting task types, specifically fixed work, fixed duration and fixed units tasks. As Sir Gantlot, I've loaded a number of videos onto YouTube where I aim to help you slay those project management monsters that plague you. And by monster, I mean management, organization, network, scheduling, and tracking. Error. Before we get started, a quick mention of my sponsors. Firstly, Westall Murray International, a consulting and services company specializing in project management based in the United States. And they also deploy enterprise project management solutions based on the Microsoft Project platform. Now, if you're considering having one of those solutions configured for you, it may be that you choose not to invest in all the necessary hardware and software, but instead to have a hosted solution, in which case I'd strongly recommend turning to Pro EPM. And Pro EPM is who I use when I'm producing training videos regarding Microsoft Project Server. So let's take a look at Microsoft Project. We've just mentioned it. And let's look at a, a schedule here, which is a very simple one, looking at uh, painting a conference room. And you'll notice that I've got a number of tasks, paint the ceiling, paint the walls, etc., all of which are assigned to John currently. Now let's consider that I might want to have one of the trainee painters take part, or at least sit in the room with John while he's painting the walls here just so that that trainee can learn some of the tips and techniques from a master. And what I'm going to do is assign our newest resource, Sarah, to just watch what goes on while John is doing that painting here. But notice what happens when I do so. Look at that two-day task. When I assign Sarah, project reduces the task to one day in duration for me. Now, it may be that that's not what I want to happen. And in fact, in the real world, most likely, if Sarah is in there learning while John works, the work will probably take longer, not less time. On the other hand, if I were to assign an experienced resource to actually help John, then indeed, probably the work would take less time. But we need to be in control of what Microsoft Project does and not the other way around. So let's go back to our uh, slideshow here. And let's consider three terms that project uses first. Firstly, work. And by work, project means the total amount of person hours needed to complete a task. For example, reviewing a document might require eight hours of work by a reviewer. Units, another Microsoft project term, refers to either the number of resources or the percentage of a resource's time that's going to be assigned to a particular task. For example, one reviewer might devote 50% of his or her time to reviewing this particular document. And duration is simply the elapsed time from start to finish that the task will take, in this case, two days. And the relationship between those three concepts is represented in a core formula within Microsoft Project. Duration equals work divided by units. Let's illustrate that with some actual numbers here. And we can see that in that example we had, where there was eight hours of work to review a document, if we have someone spend half of their available time on it, then of course it's going to take two days or 16 hours. So what does fixed work mean and fixed duration and fixed units? And what about that other term you might have heard of, effort-driven scheduling? Well, let's see where those are in Microsoft Project. And for any task, what you can do, uh, in fact, you can do this for a group of tasks as well. You can simply double click on a task or go up to the task information tab here and then choose the advanced tab within that uh, pane. And you'll see that you can set tasks to be fixed units, fixed duration, fixed work. And in the case of fixed duration and fixed units, you can determine whether it's effort driven or not. So let's look in a little bit more detail about what is going on there. Let's go back to our slideshow and see what happens when we fix work units or duration. And by fix, of course, we mean anchor them in place. And if you think about it in terms of this formula here, if we were to freeze the number of units 
and then change the work, well duration would have to change to keep that formula in balance. And we can represent the variations there as follows. In the example that we choose to fix the work, anchor the work in place, then it's the other two that vary against each other. In other words, if we change units, duration will have to change. Change duration, units will have to change. But what happens if, despite the fact that it's fixed, we go in and override and maybe double the amount of work? In that case, projects will change duration for us, not units. Let's look at the default situation where tasks are fixed units. Again, because this is anchored here, the units, then what's left to vary are these two. So if we increase work, uh, duration changes, increase duration, work changes. If we change units, then it's duration that changes again, the project changes for us. And the third option is to fix the duration. Again, if duration is fixed and we change units, then work is going to change. If duration is fixed and we change work, then units are going to change. And again, if we override and force the duration to change, then it's going to be work that changes. And that fourth option we mentioned, the effort-driven, what that means is simply that if we add or remove a resource to a task, the duration decreases or increases accordingly. And we can turn that on or off for fixed duration or fixed unit tasks. But in the case of fixed work, we cannot turn it off. And if you think of it, that's basically because effort-driven is a bit like fixed work anyway. The two are very closely related to one another. And just remember that by default, all tasks are fixed units and effort-driven. So let's take a look at project again to see how we can change something and the impact that it has. Let's zoom in here and look at this uh, task, this three-day task, which is waiting for the paint to dry. And if you think about it, it doesn't matter how many people we've got standing around, the paint is going to take three days to dry regardless. So what we will want to do with this task is to uh, set it to be fixed duration and turn off that effort driven. And if we click OK then, and again in this case we add a resource, we'll do the same thing, we'll add Sarah. Now in this case, because we've fixed it at, uh, as fixed duration and turned off the effort driven, we would expect that when we assign Sarah, the duration is not going to change, and indeed it doesn't. So let's just quickly go back to the uh, slides again here. And just talk about which option we would choose in various circumstances. And my recommendations would be that you should choose fixed work if the task actually is dependent on the amount of work. If the most important thing about the duration of this task is the number of person hours, then choose fixed work. Choose fixed duration when the amount of work or the number of resources really isn't an issue, like the example of waiting for the paint to dry, or perhaps early on in the stages of planning a complex project schedule, you may not know what your resources are or have a good handle on the work at this stage, especially for some of the later tasks, but you might know when they need to happen. And choose fixed units, which is the default choice, if the amount of a resource's time that is available to you or the number of resources available is both a variable but also a constraining factor on the duration of the task. And then lastly, make the task effort driven if you want to be experimenting with the schedule by adding or removing resources to see what the effect is on the duration of either a task or the overall schedule. So there you go, a quick uh, pass through the uh, area of uh, challenge to many people of uh, fixing uh, tasks in terms of duration, work or units, and also effort driven or not. Again, just a quick mention of my sponsors for consulting about uh, project management generally, EPM implementations in particular, Westall Murray International, US-based company. And also if you want to host your solution rather than invest in a whole bunch of hardware and other applications, then think about Pro EPM. So again, many thanks. Come back regularly and look for more videos, and I'll look forward to speaking to you on another occasion. Thanks again.